Finds Feiner. He's got Brewster shooting deep. Feiner pulls the trigger. Brewster chasing it down. Ambrose goes shoulder high to knock that disc to the turf and even has the presence of mind to get up and stop Brewster's second attempt. That was special. I mean, that was the kind of thing you don't see too often. Scheuer up to Garrett Martin, who leads the league in assists. Has he lets one go? Khalif El Salam in pursuit. Good defensive pressure there given by the by the aviators there on that deep look. To add Miles to the O-line, that's an Amun ball from Mazer, and he knows it. Near the sideline, though, Ambrose has a chance, and his greatest back into the field, and it converts. Pulling rabbits out of their hats. Mazer to Ambrose. He does it again. Lucas Ambrose is from a different generation. The greatest in the sky, and we're tied at four. Are you kidding me? One of the jaw-dropping sequences we've ever seen. My goodness. The number of heroic sequences and efforts from Aviator defenders on this point. Work on those jump cuts because they are very effective. Thank you for that education, Bomber. Actually, I didn't know that. Uh, never really played tennis like that. Oh, Ambrose with an amazing layout D and catch. He's been wanting that the whole game, and he's able to win and be rewarded. Will he be rewarded with a score? Santi finds Steiner, and Steiner. Yes, he is. You called it. Ambrose with the bookends. Oh, Tiffany knows what the people want. Ambrose knows what the people want. He gives it to him. Layout D, goal in the end zone. Bookends, three goal lead, 20 to 17, Los Angeles. Oh, it is getting hot out here. And Man number three in the league in hold percentage. And number one in O-line conversion percentage. And it's tremendous defense from Lucas Ambrose as he gets it. He's looked off, now looking dump is Hume. Back for Mike Tran. Nice, nice. use of the field for Tran, for Quek Borner. Great throw from Michael. Quek Borner shoots for Dunn. Oh, oh, and it's blocked. Ambrose gets up sooner than Dunn goes to the disc. And Great cut from Casey. And Casey's going to yeah. shoot. He's got done in the end zone. Oh. oh. Maybe a mistimed jump from Dunn, or, or the Aviator got a piece before Travis was. In the moment, I thought he had an argument for it. Floating it up there. Ambrose deflects it. Kerr unable to get the second effort. Yeah, you have to assume Steiner was trying to get that disc out of bounds to be able to set up a double team. Doesn't work out that way. In the deep space, Lucas Ambrose rises up, knocks down, going deep, 10 seconds. Throw goes up. Lucas Ambrose in pursuit of, Bru of Brewmeyer. Ambrose lays out with a with huge D. Unbelievable block. Stopping the, stopping the clock. Clock is now back on. Yeah, it's really nice to see the disc move and not stick with any particular player. You know, even the vets, guys like Matt, Jackson shooting to Atkins. Atkins running it down. Hard to tell if Ambrose got a hand on that, but nonetheless, it's a turnover. Morad. Let's it go. El Salam in the D space. Ooh. Canole launching deep immediately. Dunabile has it blocked by Ambrose. Third D of the night for Lucas Ambrose as he continues to stack block. Stick up for his teammate, no doubt. Hecht and Lou working it around. This Oakland offense continues to look pretty smooth until that throw, and it's easily intercepted by Lucas Ambrose. Over the top, Ambrose holds it in. That's another break for LA. I really appreciate 
appreciated Khalif El Salam's positioning there, where he was hanging out in the in that lane. Final 10 seconds, Santi finds Brown, Calvin looking, goes cross field with a forehand, Ambrose the closest guy, and Ambrose skies for the score at the buzzer. Almost the exact same spot where McDougal caught the buzzer beater in the first, and LA, despite making several uncharacteristic mistakes, finds themselves within one at the half.